Welcome to Surflight Reviews. We have a special, special segment here for you today. Nothing like this has ever happened for Surflight Theater. Let me introduce him. He's Steve Steiner. Hello. Producing Artistic Director of Surflight Theater. And he has pulled off something that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm Al Paranello, and I'll shut up for a second, and Steve, expose the surprise. We're doing a brand new world professional pre premiere of a show that's pre-Broadway. It's called Boynton Beach Club, and uh, it's a new musical, and we're very excited that people can come to Surflight and see it for our prices and avoid having to go to New York and pay $200 in a couple of years. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. Um, so uh, just to say it again, we are going to have a world premiere here at Surflight Theater. Uh, this is the first time this show will ever be seen. And the reason we're doing it is to launch a theatrical career for this piece, which we are heavily involved in, in obviously, uh, launching in the launch. <clears throat> so, um, how did all this happen? Steve? Well, uh, actually, it was uh, the summer of 2017 uh, when Florence Seidelman came to me, uh, and she was in the lobby with a group uh, of people, and they were seeing. I think it was Newsies, but I'm not 100% uh, uh. sure. I think it was Newsies, uh, and she says, "My daughter has a show." And, uh, you know, you hear things like that often. Right. But her daughter is Susan Seidelman, who uh, is a film producer and film writer. Uh, and she had written and produced, uh, along with her mother, this show uh, as, as a movie. It's called Boynton Beach Club. Now, Susan Seidelman's most, probably most famous film of many that she's done is a piece called Desperately Seeking Susan, and I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with that movie. Uh, it had starred Madonna, among others. Right, right. Yeah. But, uh, and so they've been working on turning in this into a stage musical since, uh, since the movie was produced. And so the, she said, you really need to do this next year. Well, we felt that it was really important to develop the piece just a little bit further. So Surflight produced a reading of the show in New York City uh, back in October of 2018. And we had great success with it. it. It was very funny, it was very poignant. It speaks to a lot of people, uh, especially, frankly, my age and, and up. That And so we decided we're gonna go ahead with a full production and boy, do we have a wonderful cast for you for this production. But go ahead, you've taken some notes here. Yeah, um, first of all, let's get back to this play as the original movie. This was not a lightweight movie. This had Brenda Vaccaro, Diane Cannon, Joe Bologna, uh, Sally Kellerman, you know, from MASH. What was it, Hot Lips? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hot Lips, Hot Lips. Land, yeah. Renee Taylor, uh, believe it or not, actually was in the film, only her voice because there's a, there was a scene in the film that's very important uh, where somebody was on the phone and that was Renee Taylor's voice and, and she and, and Joe Bologna were, were husband and wife. And um, so, so she's in the, in the movie as well. Anybody else who I forget? Michael Nouri, Michael. Uh, who was in the original movie Flashdance, oh, uh, right. which we did Flashdance the musical earlier this year. Right, right, right. So um, you gotta see this thing, folks. It's gonna be here uh, September 11th to the 22nd. So I'll tell you how to get tickets uh, in a moment. But uh, think about this, the, the movie, the, the plot of the movie. Steve uh, gave a little bit of, of way. But just when you thought you were uh, too old for romance, suddenly romance blossoms in your life. Uh, it's a story about falling in love again um, and getting back to the dating game. So you have a series of 60-somewhat-year-old uh, uh, people who are suddenly forgetting the rules of dating or reinventing them, and quite frankly, acting like teenagers. <laughs> and you can, you can understand uh, how, how the plot line can, uh, can get very serious and yet very funny at, at the same time. It's a comedy about our amazing capacity uh, to rebound uh, and fall in love at any age. It's a charming, charming plot. 
and once again, it's a first here for surf life. So this is hot, and you really need to, um, you know, to get here to see this thing, because as Steve said, uh, as time goes on, this thing is going to wind up on Broadway and have a $200 ticket attached to it, and I think you can do it here for a lot less money. Once again, it's September 11th to the 22nd here at Surf Life, Boynton Beach Club. Um, What's the big news on casting? Well, uh, the uh, show we've got, if you count up the Broadway shows of the people, the 12 people that are in this show, they've done 44 Broadway shows. <laughs> it's an extraordinary company of actors uh, led by Andrea McCardle. Oh. Andrea McCardle, uh, of course, the original Annie from 1977 will be uh, one of the leading actresses. Leah Hawking, who's done 10 Broadway shows. Uh, Steven Berger, who's done seven Broadway shows. Joel Bloom, who's done seven Broadway shows. Uh, Nina Hennessy. Um, even me, I'm going to be in this one, and I've done three. Uh, Joel, Gerald Goldstein has done uh, two Broadway shows. It, it, the, the list goes on and on. We're really excited about uh, the cast that we have for Boynton Beach Club. Uh, and there's still a little bit more casting to be, uh, to be announced. So let soon. me get this straight. Andrea McCardle yes. will be here. Is she still that little girl? Uh, that charming little cute are, are you still that charming little boy <laughs> that grew up in Brooklyn? Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll leave that alone. Um, here's the thing. If you really don't get what this is all about, it's dedicated to the proposition that 60 is the new 40. There we go. And I think that just about says it all. How do you get tickets for um, Boynton Beach Club? Very simple. Oh, by the way, it was originally named, isn't there something? Boynton Beach Bereavement Club. Yes. That was the original name of this movie before they decided just called the Boynton Beach Club. Uh, and it's because it's because the, uh, the, the it's it's funny, and they thought bereavement <laughs> sounded too much of a downer, so they took that <laughs> word out. But that's how the original cast meets. You get it? There's a bereavement center, and everybody's trying to introduce themselves and feel better about themselves because someone very important in their lives is no longer there. And, uh, and that's where, you know, nature takes, its, uh, takes place, you know? And it's just like, wow, even though I'm, you know, uh, this is a sad point in my life, maybe, maybe something interesting will come out of this. So that's, uh, that's Boynton Beach Club. It's hot, it's original, it's new. Never like have we done anything like this before. You really can't miss this one. It's September 11th to the 22nd, and you can get your tickets very simply by calling Surflight. Excuse me, by going to Surflight.org, or you can go to 609-492-9477 to pick up your tickets, and they are going to be hot. Uh, while we're here, we want to talk a little bit about our other new venture, and that's called Joe's Dream. Joe's Dream, uh, very simple, is the new book about the history. We are breaking ground left and right here. I guess. There's all yeah. kinds of new, new stuff going on. So um, it's a coffee table book, and it's an original book, uh, first-time book written about the history of Surf Life Theater. It's called Joe's Dream because Joe Hayes was the guy who, who conceived of this place and put it together 70 years ago. That's right. This is its 70th anniversary of Surf Life Theater. And the book is uh, basically a fundraiser. Not one penny of this is going to someone's pocket uh, for profit. That is not happening. Every dollar is going to the building fund of Surf Life Theater. So if you love this theater, you want to support this theater, get yourself a copy of this book. It's $29.95. It's for sale right here at, uh, at the counter outside, and uh, you can pick it up anytime the theater is open. Um, so we do hope you will go out and check it out. In the book is some incredible stuff. We've had people scurrying through their attics and their basements to find the oldest stuff they, they had in their records, and most of this stuff was dusty and cobwebbed, but we cleaned it all up and we photographed some incredible stuff. Who's the actor uh, that, that was um, 
ultimately in the uh, he was a great newsman in America, and then turned into an actor. Uh, oh gosh, his name escapes me. He was the uh, he was the fellow that was on Good Morning America when <laughs> yeah, they started yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the Good Morning America yeah. guy. Why can't David Hartman? Well, David, David Hartman. Hartman. Yeah, David was, Hartman uh, was here. Yeah. And, and did you know that the person? Remember the movie Beaches? Beaches, right? Uh, you know, a wind beneath my wings. Uh, uh, what Iris. Uh, uh, Iris. Iris Rainier Dart. Iris Rainier Dart was a uh, person here in 1960. She wrote that, and that movie was about her experience here at the Surf first Life part Beach. of it, anyway. Yeah. The first part, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. And and uh, she went on to in incredible stuff. She's a novelist, and uh, and we've done all kinds of interesting things with Iris along the way. And, and it goes on and on and on. There's a chapter about some of the heroes of Surf Life Theater, the people who went on to incredible careers, all because they started here. They got their feet wet in the industry right here at Surf Life Theater. So things like that are, are carried throughout this book. So once again, it's Joe's Dream. It's available right here at Surf Life Theater. It's the history of Surf Life Theater. You should really, really think about getting yourself a copy. Put it on a coffee table and, and talk with great pride about your association. And now you can show pictures and interesting articles all about Surf Life Theater. So uh, the one thing that uh, uh, we want to end up is just by saying thank you so much to one very, very terrific guy. Uh, and that's Nino De Pascal. You know, Nino gives us his time, his effort. These videos don't just come out of the air. It's one man putting them together for us. Uh, his organization is Real, R-E-E-L, Original Productions. If for any reason you require any kind of video service, give me you know, a call. He's incredible. Tell him I sent you. What's my name? Uh, Al Perinello. Al Perinello. And, um, and, and he'll, um, he'll hang up on you. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, he's, he's a great guy, and, uh, and you will love working with Nino. So that's it. That's it for this segment. Uh, we'll be back soon with another segment. Thank you so much, and I'm going to give you the uh, phone number again to get tickets for uh, Boynton Beach Club, and that is 609-492-9477, uh, or just go to surflight.org. Thank you so much. Steve, pleasure. As always. As always. You bet. Be well. See you next time.